Uh, we've got some extraordinary images and a really harrowing story coming out of outer space this morning. The spacewalk had to be cut short when the helmet of a NASA astronaut fixing the International Space Station began to fill with water. And Sarah is here with this story. Sarah, this reminds me of the movie Gravity. It reminds me of Gravity, Martian. We've all seen this before, These, but this was real life. So no second chances, no second takes, and it could have ended badly. In Hollywood, blockbusters like Gravity show how spacewalks can turn disastrous in an instant. But that silver screen rush of chaos may have nothing on the real life havoc. Just a tablespoon of water caused astronauts Friday on the International Space Station. We know it's a small amount of water. Yep. We already got the location and the quantity. American astronaut Timothy Copra and his British partner Tim Peake on an extravehicular repair mission when Copra noticed a cooling loop in his spacesuit was leaking. If there's any way to get a temperature of the water, I don't know, try to drink it and note the taste. The water's cold. That small amount of water prompting mission control to end the pair's five hour spacewalk early. Start opening your cuff checklist to page seven. We are in a terminate case. Fearing a repeat of this 2013 mission, which almost saw Italian ISS engineer Luca Parmitano drown when half a gallon of water flooded his helmet during a spacewalk. My head is really wet. Luca went out twice. And the first time he went out, he had water in his helmet then. And I don't think we quite handled it the right way. According to NASA, Coper was never in that degree of danger, saying the flight director brought the duo back in as a precaution. This morning, the veteran astronaut safe on board the station and surely waiting to collect on this promise from Houston. That was perfect. We'll, we'll buy a drink, uh, a soda when you get home. I think I've been jaded by the movies because when these little things happen, I'm like, oh, it's fine. But then you see that this man could have drowned. Absolutely. In the and I think he deserves more than soda. I, I think we need to make that a stiffer drink. Yeah, but that's my two absolutely, cents. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, We're encouraging sure. gambling and drinking this morning. This is a family broadcast. We're only halfway in. Houston, <laughs> we have a problem. We got, we got more vices we can, uh, <laughs> can push on people. That's exactly right.